Oh, hey, it finally worked. Good lord. Hey, everybody, welcome to Skulls and Cupcakes. I'm the Skulls. I'm the Cupcakes, and it's just been a day. I hit the wrong button. Okay, here we go. Retweet. This real quick. Play for the kids and you. Alright, so, we're back. It's been a trying time. <laughs> For those who follow our our uh, Twitter account, you know that um, our beloved L Wood has yep. left us. Yep. And that's really all we got to say on that. <laughs> anyway, moving on. He's good boy and will be missed. Yep. That's all we got. That's so. That's one of the reasons we haven't been streaming. Yeah, we we were all set to get back into streaming. We were excited about it, and then Elwood passed away. Yep, and he was our boy, so things are hard. So now that we've gotten the really really <laughs> depressing shit out of the way, where are you? Um, oh, you're here. Okay, yeah, this place. You gotta like go through all the gates and stuff. holding my breath because I'm like, oh god, did it blink out again? <laughs> and there's the dead wives of what's-his-name. Whoop! That is my I solid, thought that apparently. was a solid thing I could jump on. Hi, Kayla! Hello, hello! Kayla, we have a new Nightbot command that you can use. I will show it to you now. Eat on. Oh, that's right. I have a double jump. I'm a genius. There we go. So yes, the uh, GFD command for when technical difficulties happen. Thank you, Kayla. I thought that was very funny when I when I created it. <laughs> oh, poop. Poop. Gosh darn it! <laughs> So yeah, we, we started off the stream, and like on, in OBS, the game capture had been there, but then we started the stream and it was gone. So we restarted the computer, and I guess uh, the computer needed updates. So then we had to wait for the updates, and then once the updates finally uh, went through, we were able to get on with the show. Yeah. So this is El Shaddai, uh, brief history, um, a bunch of angels stole some of God's wisdom and ran away. And this guy, who has 72 names, and we don't know which one he's on right now. He's just Enoch. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll go with Enoch. Because that's the, that's the name that Lucifer remembers him going by first. He may be a human? Question mark? Um, according to what I was reading on Wikipedia about Enoch, he is, in fact, a human. And he was in heaven, for some reason. God brought him bodily into heaven, because he lived for 365 years, and then God was like, good job, bro. You get to come into heaven. Yeah. I mean, according to the Bible, like, Abraham lived for, like, a 600 years or yeah, something. Yeah, and Methuselah lived for, like, a thousand years or whatever. To quote the Thrilling Adventure Hour, it seems that this Bible was not properly fact-checked. <laughs> oh, those things look not great. I don't remember how to hit. <gasps> there we go. They go sproing. <laughs> Oh god, this'll be interesting. Well, this is going to be a, a fun thing. Mazes, am I right? Yep. gonna be interesting yep i'm not great at puzzles like this which is funny because i'm usually really good with spatial reasoning puzzles but whatever i'm good with puzzles but i don't know where you're trying to get so that's kind of hard So yeah, Enoch was tasked by God because uh, he God finds favor with him 
his dad's like, look, dude, you need to go get this shit, or I'm gonna flood the world again. I said Oops, I wouldn't, no. but I'm going to. Oh, look, you're here. Thanks, guys. So, that is the story of this, Well, the, the angels, the council of elders was like, we should flood these motherfuckers again. Why and God was like of elders in yeah. heaven? I don't know. Why God doesn't just have the last word, but God was like, um, hey, give me a minute before you do that. I'm gonna die. Okay. Oh my God, Enoch. My God, Becky, look at her butt. His jumps are so hard to like. No, jumping is hard. Time. You're suicidal. It's like it, when Graham Pooh Bear says that doors and pipes are hard, you guys. We believe him because, yes, they are. Platforming is not my strongest skill anyway, so... Oh, this'll be fun. Maybe I have a holy grappling hook or something. God couldn't give you a holy grappling hook. You also said that when you're reading, he is the Metatron. Yes. So he is, in fact, the titular Metatron. Or at least he will be by the end of this game. Oh, look, they give you a break. <sighs> Oh, it's one of the Freemen. What's the Freeman? I missed that part. He, they're like guys who were working for this, but now they're regretting it, so they actually help me. Oh. Oh, poor Nifelheim. They look like adipose. They do. Yay! That wasn't too bad. Your mom's a barbarian. I was talking with Flying Fox earlier, and uh, she was saying how she try, uh, she's inspired by Big John and tries to be a little bit more family-friendly. I'm like, yeah, that's never going to happen for <laughs> us. We make too many your dick jokes and your mom jokes. Yeah. Rip. <laughs> Son, please. Well, on the upside, they're not knocking you off. Yeah. Okay, first you got super lucky, and then it... And then I got super unlucky. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'm down to my jeans, ladies. Does that help you? Yes, it got me my armor back. Oh, good. Mm. That snapping you hear is Lucifer. I feel like he does it just to taunt us. No, he's like reversing time. But I feel like he could do it without the snap. Probably. Oof. Oofa doofa. Ah! Bah! Nerg! It doesn't help that we're playing this on the PlayStation 3 with an old controller. Because I doubt this game will ever get a, um... <laughs> a re-release. A re-release on literally anything. Yeah, it was not a particularly popular game, so. Fair. Once again, we're playing this because the unknown entity was like, I've got a game you guys can play. <laughs> so right now we're climbing the Tower of the Fallen Angels. Mm -hmm. We keep beating them up and then they keep running like the little bitches they are. Inchworm. Okay. I'll take it. Yep. Look at your chest. Yep. Uh, she's something. Pepper is helping us stream. She is sitting between us right in front of the microphone. So if you hear any purring, that's her. 
Okay. <laughs> ah, it's that time of year for bug bites. Boo. It doesn't seem like it'd be warm enough for bug bites. You never know. You knock that with bullshit. You could have made that jump, sir. Enoch, buddy. Sugar pie, honey, darling, dear. Well, this is going to be the next two hours. Sounds good. Jumpin', 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 yeehaw. Stuck in this in an abomination. <laughs> okay, I would, yeah. we should probably not say that one again. No. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody wants context, too fucking bad. <laughs> that will never, we will never speak of this again. <laughs> oh, bitch, really? I was gonna let y'all bitches live, but you decided to fuck with me, so. Yeah. Jumping over the nubs. Whatever the fuck they are. Son of a bitch. Oh, those fall. Yes, they do. Yeah, the orange ones are not my friend. Yeah. Oh, come on. Boo. I gotta tilt Urshan's screen down a little bit. I am not. I can't see anything. <laughs> Did it eat you? Yep, I just got munched. Oh, you're done. You're back to the beginning thing. Hooray! Sarge. That doesn't look like Sarge. She's not wearing any red. This might be the greatest surrender of all time. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love that show. <laughs> so occasionally we just beat the shit out of some people and then more come. Yep. You know, like in the Bible. Like in most games. Enoch is a pretty, pretty blondie boy. May or may not be classified himbo. <laughs> he doesn't say much. So. He does not say much. I think the last time we played this, I'm like, oh, so he's the silent protagonist type, and then he said something. And then he was like, hi. Don't forget to purify your stuff. Yep. I don't remember how to do that, so. I Ooh. do. Hey, Lucifer. Should. Yes, I would like to save the game. Sariel, that's who we're after right now. Who? Sariel. That was it. We'll keep our guard up. Right. Just in case nobody uh got that. What is that thing? It's Sariel. Oh, what's up, dude? No. Oh it's... no, it's Ezekiel. He cried them dry. Oh my God, he's ancient. No wonder he cried those dry bones. <laughs> She. <laughs> My bad. Apologies for the misgendering. Okay, I am going to get this out. For anyone interested, uh, the weekend of May 16th, I believe on May 16th, we are going to be doing a marathon. Oh my god, she killed you. You're still not good enough. Your mom's not good enough. And now you're topless. <laughs> oh, dang it. And now Pepper's yelling at Ziggy. Pepper, so, please. The weekend of May 16th, we're doing a charity memorial marathon for Elwood. The Elwood Dagmar Memorial Marathon. We are going to be raising money for the Humane Society of Wisconsin and the Dane County Humane Society. 
the Humane Society of Wisconsin. Is that what it's called? Or is it yep, Wisconsin Humane Society. Wisconsin Humane Society. That is where Kit got Elwood yep. many, many moons ago. That's where I adopted that boy from. And then I got Pepper from the Dane County Humane Society. So that is going to be May 16th. And we're just going to play a ton of Sonic games. Because Elle would like to cuddle on the couch with all the Sonic plushies. <laughs> and I have a great picture of him with with um, Knuckles riding on his back. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> There's a video of it, too. There is a short video of it where he just, like, jumps off and Knuckles <laughs> goes flying. So, yeah, whatever money we make that day will be donated. Yep. So, any bits or anything that come in that day, all will go to the Humane Society. Societies. Plural. Eventually, I will make a timer for that, so it just, um, who's calling you a moron? How dare. Oh, sorry, those bitches. They're also throwing Tetris blocks at you. No, one of the Niflheim is throwing Tetris blocks at me. How dare. But yes, I'll get a, um, you know what, I can put down the crocheting and do that right now. I will get a, uh, timed command going so that it'll just pop up every once in a while. Nightbot's great, you guys. Gun. Son of a gun? Oh god, those things vanish too. Yep. <laughs> what the heck, you guys? worth a try. I think you could have, if you would have gotten on the top one, you could have stayed up there. I landed on the thing. Apparently that wasn't, that's not good enough. Hmm. Platforming, you guys, it's great. Oh, sure, now it lets you. <laughs> there, I must have hit some kind of, like, barrier or something. God fucking damn it. Death plane or something. Niflheim, please. I realize that technically we're trying to kill you. We're trying to put them out of their miseries. Yeah. Because eventually they start eating each other. And then they get creepy. Or if you already think they're creepy, they get creepier. Jesus Christ. On a cracker? Of course it doesn't come back. Why would it? Yeah.
I know you just said this to me like five minutes ago, but it's the Wisconsin Humane Society? Yes. Okay. God damn it. Slippery. He's extremely slippery. He reminds me of Luigi. He flails when he falls. Damn it. Fine, fine, just kill me. Both of them are the worst. Sorry, I'm asking shit here, but it is Nick. That's Enoch's voice, apparently. Hmm. No! At least you're here now, right? Nope, you're back where you were. God damn it. I thought you were up higher. Yeah, I thought I would have had a checkpoint by that point. Oh well. Come on! God damn it. This is ridiculous. Now you're naked. I'm wearing jeans. Now you're wearing jeans. <laughs> oh, that was just me hesitating and fucking everything up. I flinched. Yes, I said continue. Is that supposed to be God? I don't know. Oh, you're back here. Fun. And I have no weapons. And you have next to no pants. Aw, oh, yeah. What is your speed? The Klingon Death Stick. Don't care what it's actually called, I'll never remember. Kayla told us last time we played this game and I've already forgotten it. Sorry I'm asking shit here, but it is Nick. <laughs> That's how you pronounce that. Nephilim, I guess. Got Girl, it in one this you time. Go. Boom! You just needed to lose more clothing. <laughs> just needed to be nakeder. Nakeder and have a different weapon, apparently. Get off me, bitch. <laughs> He's on. Oh, God. This looks fun. It makes such lovely noises. Oh, <laughs> it's getting darker. That can't be good.
Oh yeah, got your shooty things back. I'm your mom! No, you're not! What are the orange things? I don't know. I thought they would hurt me, but they don't. Hmm. Thankfully, she, um, pump, tombstone pile drove you onto <laughs> something solid. Yeah, not into a gap. You should go out. Or down. Down works, too. Does it, though? Oh, we already do. Trust us. What do you got for me, Freeman? Ariel's beloved, beautiful and refined mothers, elegant and wise older sisters, cute and innocent younger sisters, and very special lovers. All love Sariel and in turn are loved by him. For all the hatred I feel over the various bonds women share with Sariel, I have not the power to set them free. I fear they may never regain their love. Sariel, you got some issues. Oh, so good. Don't worry, another one's coming. <laughs> Very confused as to what's holding that balloon. Bye. Take me to heaven, Squishy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that one. She's disgusting. Your mom's disgusting. Then why are you touching me, bitch? Okay, so if Enoch is the Metatron, mm -hmm. who the hell is Lucifer talking to? God directly, I assume. Sure. Why not? Did you just that get hit? That one actually hurts. They will return to oblivion once purified Ariel. A slide. Whee! We're working on it. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Yay! Whew. Eat me! Yay! <laughs> Glorp! We're out! Yay! Yay! Well, you know what they say in the Bible, fallen angels get stitches. Because they're bitches? Mm-hmm. Okay, just check. going back and forth on whether I want to do like, because we do have a PayPal for Skulls and Cupcakes. Mm -hmm. We also have the coffee. Oh, yeah. We could set that up for um, 
buy a copy for the Humane Society. That would be nice, too, because then people could donate whatever they wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do that. I gotta remember how, but I can do that. Oh, I got one leg of armor left. Okay, good. Yay! Ooh, a staircase. Every time. Including your mom. God did mom. Hey, we just got back. Who's we? He was there in the weird realm with you. That's true, because he would snap and bring me back. Fun fact, I can't snap. Fun fact, Ziggy is currently snug in the apple juice. <laughs> he loves juice. Apparently. Okay, we'll see if that works. I don't know if it will. But. Boom. Who are we fighting now? Sorry, old. Okay. What? Oh, Bat Boy. Yeah. Oh, I gotta make Crimson Way tomorrow. Mm-hmm. We need to go to the store. Well, we can do that tomorrow. Okay, a weapon would be nice. My favorite weapon is the best choice, but a weapon would be nice. What weapon's your favorite weapon? This one. Oh, good. The punchy gloves. <laughs> punchy gloves are great. Did we get him? He's naked. You got halos on the end of your punchy gloves. I do. Your punchy gloves are angels. Well, well. It seems I have underestimated you. David Bowie? Sting from Dune? They're remaking that movie, and I believe Oscar Isaac is in it. Yeah, they've remade it before. They did a miniseries a while back. I heard the miniseries wasn't bad. I heard it was a very, very close to the books. I heard that you can't read the books because they're forever long, and my mom was like, yeah, I tried reading them once, <laughs> and I got bored. I know my brother read at least a couple of them. The Unknown Entities read, like, all of them. And then we made him watch, watch the, the movie, movie. During, our watch <laughs> during the biker the, the baker gang we, rally. We made him watch the David Lynch version because that's the only version. <laughs> it was so very strange. What are you protecting, sir? Uh, his children, maybe? The Rockula? Sure. As if this game wasn't weird. Oh god, that's creepy. Well, that's good, because you're a bat now. Did did we do it? na 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 Mom. Girl, you ugly. Don't insult my tall husband like that. How dare. Yeah, I mean, here's hoping. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. We're, gen we're generally optimistic, so... He just kicked me a whole bunch. Are you naked again? Yeah. Did you get knocked down... I'm We're in the middle, middle of a battle, sir! Like... Keeps going on also, hey, you can see through his head. <sighs> We're gonna learn new... We're gonna learn new abilities in the middle of a battle? I mean, I'll take it. Because that battle was not going well. Spoopy ghost hair. We got up to go to the kitchen for a moment, and all I could hear clearly was the Batman theme. Then we have done our job, <laughs> Kayla. Nope. <gasps> oh, who's this fancy man? Michael, maybe? I don't know who he is, but he's fancy. 
Are we getting better armor? Are we getting pecs? Are we getting a six pack? We are getting... Maybe each angel is a separate ab that I get. Maybe? Come on, Enoch. Who the fuck was that? Is, is somebody going to explain who that was? I assume he was one of the archangels. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. During battle, Uriel can sense your aggression and will lend you... Oh, it's Uriel. Is it? Your theory... Wait, wasn't Uriel one of the... I'm... St this game's so fucking confusing. <laughs> the problem is all the angels are like something EL. Yeah. Okay. During battle, Uriel can oh, sense your aggression and will use his aid. If Sorry. he feels Uriel is present, purify your weapon. His divine fire will strengthen your attacks. Apparently you can do this thing with Nightbot where if you create a custom command... <coughs> You can just link to the custom command, and it will um, become a timer. So it worked. Yay. Oh, Christ. I mean, oh. we might be able to. Oh, you're losing pants. Here's hoping. Oh, your mom. Oh, the huge manatee. His pants are interesting. How much will you steal from me before you're satisfied? Like, they look like they've been ripped, sort of. But instead of skin color, we're seeing like a weird gray. Ouch. In the end, you're only human. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but there's nothing only about being human. Haven't you heard of us? We are the fucking orcs of <laughs> the aliens. We're the chosen ones. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. No, they were God's favored beings. I think God might be doing things. <laughs> Anyway, no, there's this whole thing on Tumblr that I absolutely love where basically humans are the orcs of all the alien species. Because, <laughs> like, I saw a human get shot multiple times and they just got up and kept going. <laughs> My favorite is, like, a super, like, it's a super sad one. And they're like, oh, you're a human. You can go, you can go take care of this and um, you'll be fine, right? And all the human says is, yeah, I can take care of it. And then, the, uh, just long story short, the human dies. Okay. And they're like, yeah, humans aren't indestructible. And when they die, they die slow. And it's very sad. What's happening? This is I didn't recover myself fast enough. Boo. Ziggy, is that is that bottle of juice comfortable? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's no GameCube, but... It is not. He usually snugs with the GameCube. The Sega's right there. Do you not want to snug with the Sega? Oh my gosh, I got a story to tell you guys. So, the only Sonic game that I want that I don't have on my Genesis right now is Sonic 1. Um, Sonic Spinball is probably out there somewhere. Maybe Sonic 3D Blast, but I'm not, like, I don't need them, you know what I mean? Yeah. I have them on my GameCube. I have Sonic 1 on my GameCube, but the GameCube controls are the worst. Anyway, um, of all places to find a copy, I found one on Etsy. Yeah, a lot of Etsy will sell old games now because they're considered antiques if they're more than 20 years old, so... Yeah, so I had two options. I could get just a copy of Sonic 1 for 13 something before shipping, or I could get a copy of Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 for 14 something including shipping. Oh, you're back here again. Okay. Can I skip this? No, you're going to make me watch it again? Okay, now we get to see it. Look, you can see through his head. Oh. <laughs> I'm not imagining that, right? Nope, you can see through him. Okay. You can see through all of them, technically, I think. He's so pretty. So yeah, I'm getting a copy of Sonic 1 and another copy of Sonic 2. So I'll have a backup copy if the first one doesn't work. 
I can say that so far I have had good luck with buying video games off of Etsy. I have done it once before, and it went okay. So. Sup, Uriel? Are you one of the ones who wants to drown all the humans? Maybe. Guys, I'm making another blanket because I have no control over my life. You have control over crocheting. And that's about it, yeah. Yeah, I've got this um, Red Heart Super Saver Stripes in Latte Stripe. I knew it was going to be something coffee. Yeah. My guess was mocha. Uh, other languages on here are Reur Latte and Estampado Latte. So I know I have two skeins of this, so I'm just going until I run out of skeins. What I might do is like finish up the first skein of the stripes, go see what browns I have. That's what I did! Is that you doing that? That's the special Uriel strike that I just got. Cool. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Oh, it's like sucking you in. Yeah. How dare. It's like Liu Kang kicking you. I mean, you stole a lot from other people. No, I didn't want that. I wanted this one. You think oh, you can oh. stop me? Welcome back, shooty things. I have four blankets going that I can see from here. No judgment for this quarter. That's not what the document said. Or the, you know what I mean. Subtitles, that's the word. <laughs> Ranged attacks are great. <laughs> oh my Sir. face. My money maker. Ouch. Please stop. Did you seriously think you could beat me? I mean... You'll never understand. Probably not. I really wish I could, like, heal? Yeah. That would be fucking special. I mean, self-righteousness we kind of know about. How can this be? Don't give up. Keep moving. No problem. Everything's fine. Nice. I remember. I remember. Please fuck off. Impossible. Your mom's impossible. Serial fucked her. Oh, is this serial? This is serial. You fucked her. Okay, gonna turn down the timer on that one because it's gone like five <laughs> times already. Ooh, that's not good. There we go. Is he dead? Maybe. Did, did we kill him? I don't know. Is this the final, final stage? 
It's a save point. He's so like weirdly proportioned. I feel like this is not good. <laughs> also, that's a pair of legs in the background. Well, there's like broken statues. Probably not. Oh yeah, we're trying to find some Ishtar person, I think. Yeah. This game's weird. It's extremely weird. Bye, Eddie Pillows. They're returning to the planet. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad I could set them free and return them to the planet. That's a completely different game. <laughs> a completely different weird-ass JRPG. <laughs> There's so many of them. The problem is, once I finish the Final Fantasy VII Remake, I'm going to have to go back and play regular Final Fantasy VII because I'm going to want to play the rest of the story then. Hi, Fancy Pants. Oh, great. Oh, good. Side quests. Yay! Prophesied by Ishtar, accept my petition. No. Release the souls of the missing. The curse of sin, fallen angels, and humans. Can we do that? Maybe the fallen angels should keep it in their pants. Do we get a choice in this? Nope, of course not. We're the messenger of God. No, buddy, no! Okay, then. I can see why this is... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I got all the eyeballs now. He's got all the something. Caleb says, uh. <laughs> that was a thing that just happened there. Yeah, it was. Whoops. You everything okay? Yeah. <laughs> Did it just unplug? Yeah. Well, it should be charged. Yeah, so, so it's fine now. Yeah, we have a 10-foot uh, charge cord for the PS3. Sometimes 10 feet isn't enough. Oh look, bad guys. The Doruga. Doruga, Doruga. Rufio, Rufio. It's a good movie that I never want to see again. I have seen it once. I have seen it too many times. Like, back then it was original. <laughs> My mom hated Robin Williams, so we very rarely saw Robin Williams movies. That's okay. Pretty much if they were on TV. The thought of Mrs. Doubtfire kind of makes me cringe now. Oh, that movie is so cringy now. Yeah. I mean, I always, like, when I was a kid, I'm like, that, that's not right. <laughs> There's something wrong here. Be careful. Dane, I'm trying, Gabriel. Is that Gabriel? I know Gabriel was a chick. Okay, we're just... Oh god. That Thanks! Was, that was in no way your fault. <laughs> they exploded it. 
All right, we're going to go with Gabriel because I don't know any other names. Abba? Oh, these perspectives are just lovely. Camera angles. Are they better or worse than the camera angles in Wind Waker? Mm, about the same. Mm. I'll have to play that one again. Yeah. We never finished it. We didn't. You got so lucky Ooh. there. <laughs> Hi, Pep. Yeah, a long time ago, before Kit and I were living together, we started a playthrough of Wind Waker after I bought a better controller for the, game, <laughs> for the GameCube. Though we were playing it on your Wii, but this, the point still, still stands. You need a GameCube controller to play it. Yep. And it helped a little, but the camera angles in that game are something to be desired. Yeah, they are not your friend. Yes, darling? Whoops. Well, at least you don't have to go over that way anymore. Apparently I just gotta stay on my fucking toes. Yeah, fuck this game. Die, fireball. do you think we're doing? Don't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Cutscene. <laughs> Loading eh. screen. Loading screen. Hey. Yeah. The Nephilim are on the rampage. Why can't God just uh -huh. destroy Can't them? each other up. Well, because God gave you this job, so you have to do it. Like, they're abominations. Why can't he just make them go away? Maybe God doesn't think they are abominations, but he can't go against the will of the council. Mm. Because, um... Checks and balances in heaven, I guess? Checks and balances in heaven, and, um, also Boromir's dad is a dick. <laughs> it makes sense, trust me. <laughs> I read a thing recently that apparently um, Faramir wasn't part of the story originally. Nice. He just showed up one day <laughs> and J.R. Tolkien was not thrilled with it. He's like, oh, are you kidding me with this, Faramir? Pretty much. Also, Strider wasn't meant to be a character. He was just supposed to be, like, he was just, <laughs> he, Tolkien was just writing one day and then Sam's like, who's that guy over there? <laughs> And then he became, you know, one of the most important people in the goddamn book. It was something, let me tell you. There's a Terry Pratchett quote I love, one amongst many, but it's like, the characters don't make themselves, of course they don't. But while you've got your mind open like that, all sorts of memories and thoughts and personalities just come flooding in. Yeah. Speaking of which, Kayla, how's your character creation going? Because that's this weekend. Oh, yeah. We got to decide on a time and stuff. And then we'll figure out if we can do it over Skype or whatever. I think Google Hangouts might work. I think Google Hangouts would be the best. We've all got Google accounts. So. Yeah. And honestly, we don't even need two of them. We yeah. Just... We just need... We need one between us. So. Yeah. Yeah. It is my birthday on Wednesday, and I asked if we could play a role-playing game over... The distance. I've got my characters started, but I've been said I can't tell anything about them yet. So. <laughs> I gave Kayla one piece of information that I was allowed to give, which is that she is a Shadow Lord. I mean, if you somehow miraculously know each other. Oh, yeah, that's what it would have to be a very good excuse. Yeah. Kayla. As with most games, our characters don't know each other. 
At least not at first. I can't think of a game where, like, Kayla and I actually played, like, longtime friends or anything. Right. Because, like, Vilma showed up shortly after I did at the Sept. Mm hmm And then Kevin was homeless and had pocket pie. <laughs> Guys, the clown ate my pie. I don't want to talk about it. We gotta do another one. We, let's make a story around Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do a Kevin story. <laughs> For those wondering what the fuck we're talking about, <laughs> Kevin is one of the greatest role-playing characters ever created ever. <laughs> by Kayla. Actually, ever created by anybody. Yeah, Kevin's great. He was a teenage boy who became a werewolf and ran away from home and became homeless and kept food in his pocket and would just occasionally take food out of his pocket and offer it to people. Yep. He made the mistake of offering it to a hand puppet clown who ate it. Who I ended up arbitrarily <laughs> making into the villain of the story. It was supposed to be some, I had some fancy bitch vampire who was going to be this the villain of that story. And I was like, oh no, no. Oh no, 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 children. We are doing the clown puppet now. Kayla says, Kevin was largely an accident, but I love him. We all love Kevin. Kevin's the best. Kevin also became a, how old? A 52-year-old Jewish lady from Brooklyn. Named Mrs. Leibowitz. Because we had to sneak him into a bar. <laughs> and I don't, did Kayla roll the Kayla had, Kayla had to roll for, um, to get a fake ID. And I think you botched the roll. You did not do well on the roll. She didn't do well on that roll, but she made people believe oh, it, by God. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome back. And so I decided, based on that roll, that the <laughs> fake ID that this 16-year-old boy got was of a 52-year-old Jewish woman from Brooklyn named Mrs. Leibowitz. <laughs> Kayla says, I don't think I did well, no. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that was a botch. <laughs> because if you had failed, it still would have been you, but, like, a bad version of you. Like, really a bad ID, but you botched, so it wasn't even believable. Did we kill Ezekiel? No, Ezekiel killed me, I think. Well, you know. Ezekiel's not, like, she's one of the later bosses, so. And then Percy and Lobo showed up. Yeah, then I just arbitrarily threw my werewolf um, vampire couple in there. Mrs. Leibowitz is classy. <laughs> Mrs. Leibowitz is classy. Hey, this is a safe space. He can be Mrs. Leibowitz if he <laughs> wants to be. Oh, God, Lobo. Because Mrs. Leibowitz is classy. Just so everybody knows, Lobo was mine for like 20 <laughs> minutes. His name is Wolf Wolf, okay? Yeah. And he was, <laughs> He's uh, a, he is a, like... Black Spiral. He is a Black Spiral werewolf named Lobo, and he was supposed to be a throwaway character, and then he's like, nah, bitch, I'm gonna go live in her well, head. You killed him. He I died. did kill him. He died, and then he showed up in my <laughs> head and was like, um, hey, you got plenty of room. <laughs> and then he met Percy, who is my... Very gay little vampire. Fabulous. Is My the word fabulous for. little vampire. Hi, buddy. My little Giovanni. Percival Anatoly went through Giovanni Lovegood. So pleased to meet you. God, I love Percy. Ziggy. <laughs> Everybody loves Percy. Ziggy, I can't open you up to nature right now. There's an idiot out there with a very loud car. We. My uh, original oral playing group, we would. Um, Sometimes mm -hmm. play this game where you, like, you would just go around the room and one person would ask a question and then everybody would have to answer it. Okay. And one time the question was, um, who's your favorite of, like, my characters that, you know, you'd have to go to each person and say who your favorite character of theirs was. Mm -hmm. And mine was unanimously Percy. <laughs> Percy is the greatest. I'm sorry. Percy has a kitten now. I didn't want to play vampire. You did not. I did not. Vampires for little emo babies that cut themselves. I did not want to play vampire. This was back in the early 2000s, <laughs> by the way. She yeah. does not feel this way I do way not feel this now. way any now. I would not feel, feel that way about it now. But anyway, so I was like, I don't want to play vampire. And I was living in Milwaukee at the time. And I was riding the bus home one night and it was snowing and cold. And I'm looking out the window of the bus. And all of a sudden this voice in my head goes, I never wanted to be a Giovanni. I never wanted to be a vampire. I wanted to be a dancer. And I went, oh, I'm playing vampire. <laughs> Luckily, my GM thought Percy was the best thing ever <laughs> and absolutely adored Percy. Percy's great. 
And as previously mentioned, he now has a kitten. I think it's... A, I think Percy actually named it, but the kitten is forever Drama Cat. <laughs> yeah. If you've seen the video on Tumblr of this, like... The drama kitten. Of the kitten who's just like, meow, and throwing <laughs> itself around. Over, and we were like, oh my god, it's Percy, but a kitten. Yeah, one of his current ghouls just found this kitten and was like, hey, Percy, look. <laughs> and she sets it down and it starts doing the thing. Careful, Zig. Ziggy, do you want to be on, do you want to be on the microphone? You going to purr? Do you want to say something to somebody? We already fed you, bud. Yeah, we did. I, I did it at 7 o'clock. This place is downright scary. Your mom's downright I'm scary. Could be destroyed at any moment. Are you just on your phone again or are you talking to us? You are no, on he's your phone, on the phone again. Phone. The year is before Common Era, and Lucifer has a cell phone. Sorry, Lucifer. Captain Translation Error. <laughs> right. I don't know how you tran you you you're the translator for this game, and you don't look at that and be like, okay, it's it Lucifer. could be an L or an R. <laughs> Lucifer, Lucifer. Oh, it's clearly Lucifer. What are you trying to do to my root beer? How dare you, sir? Why are you trying to lay on my sodas? Because he's a weirdo. What did the frostbite do to you? By the way, everybody, if you have not tried the Walmart-exclusive uh, Mountain Dew Frostbite, what the fuck are you waiting for? It's really good. It's good. It's, um, you were... cool melon flavor. Yeah. If anybody oh, remembers from back in elementary school, the Mr. Sketch Markers, and how the blue one always smelled the best personal yeah. opinion it might not be universal but <laughs> i always thought the blue one smelled the best the to me the frostbite soda tastes like that marker smell. smells yeah can confirm but yeah apparently it's a it's a walmart exclusive it's also the box art has a shark bursting out of a frozen lake so it does oh did i tell you that a Dollar General is going into the old family video? You did. Okay. Because we were talking about how it would be a good place for it. Yes. We were also talking about the other soda. Apparently Dollar General has a Walmart exclusive soda. Like I think it's called like Maui Luau or something like that. <laughs> Some and, pineapple flavor. Yeah. So now I need to go to a Dollar General and find this because I want to try it. If anybody out there has tried this soda, please report back. Because I think our, the nearest Dollar General currently is over on the north side. Mm, near my I'm, old apartment. Yeah, I know there's a couple in Janesville, but that doesn't help us. We can't go to Janesville right now. We cannot. Also, I'm not going to go to a Dollar General just for a soda. That seems, right. that seems unnecessary. We only got the frostbite because we were already in Walmart at the time. Yeah. I'm really hoping that they... Ooh, the Freeman. I'm really hoping that they eventually release the um, KFC exclusive uh, <laughs> Mountain Dew. Sweet Lightning. Yes. Uh, we'll just, I'll use the name. Fine. They, I really hope they um, release Sweet Lightning in stores. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Yeah, that's unpleasant. Because I love that stuff, and I am kind of sick of having to order KFC every time I want some. Are you dead? Yeah, that fireball took me out. No problem. Everything's fine. But yeah, it's like a, it's like a honey peach flavored Mountain Dew, and I love it very much, but it's only at KFC right now. So I'm hoping they pull a Baja Blast and start selling it in stores. I have Baja in the fridge. You do. I just had a um, frostbite, so I'm not going to have one right now, but it's a good thing to remember. Oh, before I forget, again, we tried, we used the pie filling that we made. Yeah, So for worked. those For those who don't remember, a couple of, oh, Budge. whip. A couple of weeks ago, like right around when this whole insanity started, my mom sent us seven Kringles. 
This was only bad because at the time I had bought a ton, I had a ton of apples that I needed to use up, so I bought some more to make pie filling for a pie because Kit really likes my Dutch apple pie. I like my Dutch apple pie. Um, I bought too many apples. That was the first, that was the second problem. The first problem was the Kringle showing up because then we suddenly had seven Kringles and really no reason to make a pie. Yeah, we had no good excuse for pie at that point. Yeah. And then we were sad. And sadness is always a good excuse for pie. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to crack one open. And I did. And it turned out really well. Fudge. Man, fuck that one platform in particular. <laughs> Yay! So yeah, we did. I did that this weekend, and it turned out really good. Yeah, it was a really good pie. Yeah, I need to find my um, my crust guard because I feel like I could have cooked it a little bit longer, but the the crust was starting to brown, and like it wasn't, it didn't burn, but it was, it got real brown. So I think I know where it is, so I'll just have to. I'll have to remember that for next time. Grab it because yeah. we have four more jars. <laughs> I'm feuding with the KFC near me. Why are you feuding with the KFC near you, Kayla? What did they do to earn your sperm? I have no idea if I used that word correctly. Close enough. Okay. No, eat a dick, Ezekiel. Cry dry bones. Oh, this is a basil. Did we meet for a first time? You're on fire. Yeah, I got the... Oh, it's um Uriel? Uriel. Oh. My. God. Terrify your fucking weapon so we can do this. Eat a dick! Ziggy's about to lay on my sweatshirt that I did not hang up. <laughs> this is my own fault. Every time I go, the one or two, uh, da, 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 I could probably drive to the one in Jamesville and back and be home faster. Oh, oh dear. Geez. I'm so sorry. Next time you come up, we'll get KFC. Because they deliver yeah. now. And our KFC is pretty good. So. It is. And you can try the Sweet Lightning. And then if you don't like it, I'll drink it. <laughs> Where are we? Up. Okay. That's all I know. One guy looks like a bottle opener. So what we have to take away from this is that God somehow invented cell phones. Maybe Lucifer invented cell phones. And God was like, I'm fine with this. Yeah, can I have one? That seems useful. I don't know, I could see God with a desk phone. Yeah, like a an Batman desk phone? Yeah, an old rotary phone, yeah. That makes sense. Excuse me, sir. We are trying to purify our weapon right now. <laughs> I'm trying to make it easier for me to beat your asses. Could you cooperate, please? Rip. We have baby bunnies. Oh my god, they are so cute. There's a low-to-the-ground bush near our apartment. A shrub. A shrub. And it is generally always full of animals. And right now we have a whole mess of bunny kittens. Yeah, they're adorable. For those who don't know, a, a baby rabbit is actually known as a kitten. The males are bucks, the females are does, and the babies are kittens. Because let's just confuse everybody. <laughs> But yeah, they're at the stage where they're like going out and eating grass by themselves, but they're just little balls with ears right now. They're adorable they're so as cute. shit. I hesitated because everything shook for a second there. Yeah, makes sense. 
It's okay. You got the killers to kill. But yeah, there was uh, one out earlier that... Ooh. There was one out earlier that I managed to take a picture of, and then another one joined him. He got so lucky there for a second. And they're adorable. Yeah. It's the highlight of our day. Pretty much. And it's driving the cats crazy. It is. I'm so worried the big dog next door is going to eat one. Me too. No! Rip. At least you're up here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, across the hall from us, the the big... I don't know what kind of dog it is. Some it's a big, big old hound dog. Big old hound dog. That's, that's, that's the best description for it. And he barks a lot. Like, all day. He's kind of lonely, I think. Yeah. Which is weird, because his mom should be home all day? Dep I don't know where she works. I have she? seen her wearing scrubs. Oh, fair enough. So I don't actually know if she's home all day. Right, um, she could be a vet. Or, you know, a Or nurse. a healthcare professional or something. But anyway. Yeah, so he's a, he's a sweetie, but, um, Yeah. He also chewed himself free the other day. Oh yeah, I we um we redecorated the patio. We got some lovely lights out there. One of them is not lit, so I'm going to assume that it's not tied, it's not screwed in all the way. Have to fix that later. But um, so I was out there just kind of sitting, chilling, falling, not falling, and um. He was out there, and the other uh, one of our other neighbors, uh, their dog, Sammy, was out too. And Sammy was like trying real hard to play with him. Oh, and she everything. wants to play with him so bad. <laughs> yeah, and Charlie is indifferent. But um, then I hear um, his owner go, "What did you do?" And I look over, and he has chewed his rope <laughs> free. So he's just like standing there, like not trying like, to escape hey, or anything. Just like I don't have this on anymore. I'm free. Just so you know. Just so you know who's boss. I could have walked away and I didn't. Yeah. Ma'am. And I was just enjoying a lovely day on in my new uh, patio chair, so I didn't notice anything. Jump, you weak-ass bitch. I mean, he's human. Who are you? Yeah, who, who is, what, the ball? Allow me to help. What was that? I think it was your ego. Yay! I'm still very confused as to why the armor looks like a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. And why the final armor will be a Canadian tuxedo. Yeah. Does Lucifer... Lucifer... Really think that that is the epitome of fashion? No, I think it's a joke. <laughs> I think he wants Enoch to look stupid. That's a really mean thing to do to your boyfriend. Well, it's Lucifer. Fair. He is the devil. Hey, thanks. I like how that one just swung you up towards the other one. That was funny. Enoch. Bubby. Sugar pie, honey darling dear. <laughs> mentioned earlier I was talking with Flying Fox and she was mentioning how she tries not to swear on her stream mm -hmm. because she just like she tries to not to swear because she thinks that of course you can still be entertaining without swearing and that's right. completely true oh yeah for some people 
I think we're <laughs> twice as entertaining when we swear. Oh, yeah, I can't imagine. Well, actually, I can because we used to do the family-friendly Sundays. Yeah, and then we found out that Mara's okay to hear swear <laughs> words. She just can't repeat them. And she, uh, as far as I know, she's doing fine on that. The only really funny thing was us trying to find substitutes for swear words. I used to just shout expletive a lot. <laughs> anyway, she uh, linked to a, a clip of hers where she um, was on the final boss of Sonic 1 and somehow just clipped through the ground and died. Oh, no. And the noise she made was like, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I'm like, I've done that. Oh, it's these bitches again. Always these bitches. Shout out to all the lurkers we've got out there. We appreciate you. <laughs> yes, we do. We appreciate anyone who comes by. Yes, we do. I don't know if I've mentioned I'm taking an extended break from Twitter and Facebook. Tumblr seems to be the only safe place, and that's really weird. Yeah, Tumblr is not generally the safe place. But here's the thing. I have very carefully carefully curated my Tumblr experience, <laughs> which means 90% of my Tumblr is blogs dedicated to fall and winter. Well, and I feel like Tumblr, you can curate your experience really tightly. Yeah, because, I mean, you can block words on uh, Twitter, but it doesn't always work well. And, like, well. even if you block a word, if it's, like, a trending topic, you're still yeah. going to see it. And, like, I have Critical Role blocked because I can't stand Critical Role. Uh-huh. And they're like, oh, you really like uh, role-playing games. I guess in your trending topics, we'll tell you all about Critical Role. No thanks. And it's like, I have every iteration of that blocked that I can possibly think of. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. If you like Critical Role, that's, that's fine. That's fine. It's, I, it's not for us, though. Do you. Like, you, I ain't you. gonna judge you. Play whatever game you enjoy, or, you know, listen to whatever you listen to. I don't care. Personally, I've never listened to an episode of it. I never will, because I am so sick of hearing about it and hearing how it's the best thing ever. I'm personally sick of seeing people, like, draw fantasy-esque pictures and and the Critical Role fandom just assuming that they're drawing characters from yeah. Critical Role when they're not. Yeah, I'm sure the podcast itself is fine, mm -hmm. but the fans are awful. Like with most fandoms, yeah, the biggest problem is everything. the fans. There's a reason why I don't participate in fandoms. I have stepped back a lot from fandom. I There's a couple of them that I kind of, like look at from a distance, but. Although I will say one of the good things for me personally that's come out of quarantine is that I don't give a fuck anymore. Yay! I'm just like, I could literally die tomorrow. Like, not in the sense of, yeah, anybody could die at any time. Like, I literally could get sick and die tomorrow. There's no guarantee about anything nope. anymore. So why shouldn't I write stupid fan fiction mm -hmm. that's whatever I want? And draw all the pictures. Draw all the pictures and not give a shit what strangers on the internet think of them. I mean, I never really cared what strangers on the internet thought of me, So, but I still kind of kept it down. Yeah. Now I'm totally writing a, uh, a fic where um, in an alternate universe, Tony Stark has a twin, a sister, twin sister who um, was the one to put the arc reactor into his chest because, you know drama. <laughs> fine. And there's this whole side plot about the universe being a sentient being, so. <laughs> that sounds very Marvel. I find fandom easier to deal with by working from afar. You are correct, Kayla. That That is so much easier. 
Well, and so many people are so very, like, my interpretation is the only correct one. And then if, like, the creator themselves says, no, that's, you know, let people have their headcanons, they get mad about it. Yeah. Like, I remember someone tweeting at Neil Gaiman and being like, can you please explain to this other person that as Raphael and Crowley are a couple? And he was like, they have their headcanon, you have yours. It was basically Neil Gaiman saying, back the fuck off. Yeah, saying, like, I'm not going to confirm or deny anything. People are allowed to feel how they feel about characters. And, like, just to have the, the sheer balls of that person, like... I mean, didn't somebody tell Kurt Vonnegut his uh, interpretation of his own story was wrong? Well, that's in a movie. I know it's in a movie, but I, th I thought, like, that they did that because it was a thing that happened. I could totally see that happening. Yeah, um, back to back school. Back to school. Ro I know uh, Rodney, Rodney Dangerfield, Dangerfield hires Kurt Vonnegut to do his book report on Slaughterhouse-Five, which is Kurt Vonnegut's most famous book, and he gets, like, a B-plus on it. That thing eats people to gain their powers. It gonna eat you, Lucifer. Run. I've given up on giving calling him Lucifer. It's Lucifer. If Lucifer. Oh, did we get it's just eaten? a mistranslation of Lucifer? Did we get eaten? Man boobs. Is that not us talking? I thought that voice was us for the longest I time. I just assume all the voices talking are the angels, like the archangels. Have you? You've said that, like, five times. Methuselah. What's a Methuselah? Ah, Methuselah is that person who's been talking. Apparently. Also, I think Methuselah was Enoch's son? Huh. I said it before and I'll say it again. Christianity's weird. <laughs> it is a very weird mythology. Very. I will say, I found it more tolerable when I started looking at it as a mythology yeah. rather than a religion. Oh, it's a fucking fascinating mythology. Oh, yeah. How many million, billion seconds or days are we away from, like, Greek mythology? Because when we get there from Christianity, people are going to be like, this shit is <laughs> whack. What the right. fuck? You know, give it 5,000 years or so. Yeah. The aliens would be like, this Christianity thing. <laughs> They'll teach it to their middle schoolers like we learned Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. Now who's talking? He's got wings. Does he got wings? No, I think it's just the background. I've stopped trying to understand what the hell is going on in this game. I mean, I probably should too, because I'm going to get a migraine if I don't, <laughs> but still. I'm just letting it wash over me at this point. Oh. Well, thank you for the um, exposition during the... the <laughs> The loading the screen. screen. Azazel? I almost thought it was Azazel. Same. I would hope his arms. Yay? Apparently that's what we just did. <laughs> it's nice that they're giving us recaps because we don't know what the fuck's yeah, going on. Yeah, because I don't on. understand what the hell is happening until Lucifer tells us. Yep. Thanks, Lucifer. Hmm. As weird as this game is, I'm really glad the unknown entity uh, 
did loaned it to loaned us it to and us. Did, like didn't get rid of it. Yeah. Did we just get kidnapped by a bug? A giant bug. Hey, look. Neo Tokyo. Well, we're a silent protagonist, probably. Most of the time. We're not even sure anymore. This isn't real. There's no cars on that highway. <laughs> Do not expect to find support here, Eli. You are an uninvited guest. Face plant. That looks painful. Oh no, you're gonna be out of blue jeans. <laughs> oh no, my blue jeans! My Levi's! Did the bug just kill itself? I have no idea. God, this game is weird. No answers to any of your questions. I hope, I hope with my heart of hearts that the unknown entity is watching this right now. Are you sure? Arrangements. You gonna get some wings, maybe? Like suddenly or this a becomes car. Suddenly this becomes a flight simulator. It appears other travelers wish to touch and feel their advanced civilization. You have such a foundation of your own resolve and care to stand to win. Eli, we must hurry on to dinner. A motorcycle. Oh Hey, look, it's hell on wheels. <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here all night. What hey, the, honey. One of the neighborhoods I lived in in Milwaukee, a nearby street was called Wheel Street, W-E-I-L. And at one point they had something called Hell on Wheel Street. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like Tron and the guy, the... The guy who gets his arms and legs and everything chopped off in Monty Python had a baby. <laughs> the Black Knight. <laughs> yeah. T tell me you see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Burb. Burb. Why is there a bird? Okay. Oh, God. Attack. Good luck. Slide. I can Tokyo Drift. Woo. Whew. Bugs are shooting rockets at you. Fun. Because of course they are. Okay, Neo, get back to the Matrix. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Are they going to let you drive this at any point? Mm, I'm fine with it if they don't. Yep, here we go. Oh, God. This looks annoying. It wouldn't be so bad if not for all the blurs. Well, you're going super fast. Whee! Barely missed that guardrail. So when do you get a lightsaber? That seems like the next logical jump in technology. Right? A flaming sword. That's a zero fails though. Well, technically it's Michael's. Yeah. I mean, if you're going ca canonically, it's Michael's. <laughs> Why do the bugs have wheels? Uh, because the Bible. Okay, sure. Ooh. 
This kind of just makes me want to play that Sayonara Wild Hearts game. That game was so pretty. I still have no idea what was going on in it, but it was so pretty. Like, I went and read the Wikipedia on it, and I still <laughs> don't understand what was happening. But it was so pretty. There's a lot of free running and parkour and such. Okay, show off. <laughs> oh, must be a boss battle. They're giving me a lot of health. Well, they probably assume I've lost a lot of it by now. I have no idea how much uh, health you have. Yeah, have there's or don't no have. Uh, determination for that right now. So I can't see your your genes. Oh dear! Hey, giant robot. Par for the course with this game. I mean, they're just literally interpreting the Bible at this point. Right? Uh, I got a question. Mm -hmm. How does he know how to drive that thing? <laughs> I, I had a tutorial. You they had a tutorial. Enoch, he, Lucifer was like, press R1 to slide. You got a tutorial on how to do stuff. Not None of, it, none of which was that bullshit we just saw. <laughs> That's true. They're not letting me do any of that stuff. I'm going to call bullshit on this whole game. Ziggy, you could be napping on my sweatshirt that's right there, but instead you're napping you on the playing. junk mail. <laughs> that sounds about right. With a comfy sweatshirt? Mm, I'm going to sleep on this junk mail instead. I have no idea where Pepper went. Merciful Jesus. Okay. He's not in this game. He hasn't been born yet. Probably. Who knows anymore? Yeah, I don't know what the... Thought those were power-ups. Ran into the wall. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Don't go into the light. <laughs> Told you. Oh, I think I know how to tell what my armor's at. Huh? The bike changes colors. Oh, does like, it? Like, it's yellow now. It was red, now it's yellow. Okay, so that must mean you have... I'm moderate. And now, now it's still yellow. Still yellow. <laughs> so yellow means good? It's like moderate. You're doing okay. Could be better. And red is, oh god, oh god, we're all gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> red is, what are you even doing with your life? Uh, I'm riding a motorcycle in this futuristic city fighting bug monsters. I don't know, what are you doing? <laughs> Cutscene. Did it just destroy itself on his head? I don't know. Oh, look, it's now one of these things. Okay. I'm in a canal now. That's fine. Hey, you're not dead. Mama said knock you out. Don't call it a comeback. Been here for years. Like 365,000. <laughs> See, we didn't get that in the tutorial. Yeah, I don't know where he's getting this stuff from. Little did we know, Lucifer has a remote control. <laughs> Just been Lucifer the whole time. See, I'm gonna be sad because I feel like at the end we're gonna end up fighting Lucifer. Our sweet, sweet boyfriend. I don't know. I mean, I feel like that's the general progression of things, but this game also has a futuristic city and cell phones in the um, before Jesus era. Yeah, like 14,000 years ago or whatever. 14,000 years ago minus 365 
maybe because he was he wa- oh yeah he was 365 years old so oh boy he was wa- he wandered for like 365 years or something that was what what's his name said yeah i don't remember this the lore is too deep too deep too deep even for us kayla we're gonna start a podcast it's gonna be ridiculous Saved yourself right into a cutscene. Apparently. Nice. But yeah, we're just gonna go through and ex- um, explain the deep lore of things. The lore is deep. I don't know what we're gonna start with, but it'll be interesting. We'll figure it out. Glides gracefully <laughs> through the blades. Whatever the fuck the bug thing is. Crash. <laughs> Why did you even have me control it for ten seconds? How what many... the fuck was that? I don't know. What is it? The Hideo Kojima game? <laughs> yeah, makes too much sense. Point. No, that's not fair. I can actually follow the lore in Kojima games. I am still lost in parts of Death, and not not even Death Stranding, because we haven't even finished that <laughs> one yet. I am lost in parts of uh, Metal Gear. <coughs> yes, we did just say, I, I don't know how many seconds you are behind us, but you are seconds behind us. We have a list going of what we're going to do. Mr. Bug, if you would be so kind as to die. Thank you. <laughs> yep, I didn't even do anything. Uh oh. Children is the first meteorite blasting through space. Hopefully, that suit is fire. Hello, who are you? It's Enoch. Is it? Yep. What the fuck? Cool guys don't look at explosions, I guess. That. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I feel like this is this is what Sunday school is, right? Like, no. <laughs> like this this is what Sunday school is like. No. Anyway, who is it? Boy toy. Hey. Yep, that's taken care of. Oh pantsless wonder. Here come more bugs. Oh shit. Oh, it's transforming into a Voltron. Oh god. You wanted to fight a Voltron, right? Oh yeah, motorcycle Voltron. It's a dream come true. Could be worse, could be a Megazord. Now it's some sort of weird, um, bike-like unicorn. Mm. On fire. Don't fall off, Ziggy. <laughs> he's so sound asleep. He, he's gonna oh, face... Oh, boy. Ziggy. I think he's okay. He's like slowly sliding off the edge. Face first. Could you let me get a weapon, or... Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> you Okay. Man, 
man, they go all out on these goddamn boss battles, don't they? You were inside it there for a second. <laughs> Or what? And they want me to use the sword. I don't want to use the sword. I want to use the punch gloves. That thing's called the arch? The, the sword is, yeah. Oh. I did not let your favorite boy toy die, God, I promise. Not yet, anyway. Can't get over to the gale right now, but thanks. That seems like a good strategy. Keep hiding behind his ass. Okay, his halo thingy turned, turned purple. purple. Yeah. Oh, he wearing punch gloves. Dance for us, baby. I mean, he's no cloud strife, but Oh my god, that was amazing. No spoilers, but there's a certain part of Final Fantasy VII Remake that's fucking amazing. It's the best. It is indeed the best. I don't think his arms are supposed to move like that. <laughs> You die now. It's okay. Dude, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but you are on fire. You are on fire and we are running out of pants. Technically, I never run out of pants. I just run out of armor over my pants. The Levi's 501s hold true. <laughs> uh, I can tell it's allergy season because I'm all stuffed up. Oh, yeah. I had a runny nose like all day today. Sir, that was a bitch slap, and those are not allowed in uh, honorable combat. I'm not sure if you're aware of God that. God doesn't allow bitch slaps. God does not allow bitch slaps. was funny. I killed it. Boom. Boom. Of course, if this was a Mario Brothers game, it still would have killed you. <laughs> We're halfway up the tower. Yep. Who? Armor us? Yeah, final boss right there. <laughs> What's this, Azel the bike? Go 
saw this game, to be honest. Mm-hmm. <sighs> no. Well, this is going to go well. I think that might be a good place to stop. Yeah, I was thinking that, too. I'm yawning up a storm. Yeah. It's been a long day. I actually had to go into the <laughs> office today and was surrounded by incompetence, and that made me full of anger. So let me see who's on right now. I wish this gave me more than, like, five channels to look for. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love the new dashboard they have on Twitch, but it, like, shows you, like, the top five people, probably alphabetically, who are on, and then doesn't really tell you who else is on. Yeah. So, let me see here. What haven't we done lately? All right. Good? Yeah. All right, we're going to host Big John. He's playing some Super Mario Maker 2. Uh, poor guy needs a new computer, so we're going to mm -hmm. kick you over to him and uh, get him some support so he can get that new computer because his other one is not doing great. <laughs> yeah. Also, he's just an absolute sweetheart, and I yeah. adore him. So we're going to host go. Big John. Y'all have a good night. We will be back on Wednesday for Kit's birthday. I don't even know what we're doing. It's a surprise. Probably to all of us. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.